Hello everybody, it's the drummer 12318 here and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for the love and supporting each other recent content I'm releasing recently. Which you do greatly appreciate it. Welcome to Daniel's Nightmare. I wanna edit the graphics here really quickly. Alright, that's chill. Can I go any higher than that? No, just this, that's fine. Um Alright, save. Return to menu and let's go new game. Daniel's Nightmare. With no news from his friends for several years, Daniel receives an unexpected letter from Augustine, his old companion. Worried and confused by its content, Daniel decides to visit Augustine at his home, unsuspecting that this visit could lead him to the worst mistake of his life. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear, and the oldest and strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown. That's that HP Lovecraft, by the way. August 2007. Something is lurking in the forest. White eyes gleaming from the shadows. Daniel, please help me. That's the letter I received from Augustine. I hadn't heard from him in a long time. But receiving a letter like that, with that content, scared me. Why didn't he call the police? No matter the reason, I headed straight to his house. No matter the reason, comma. Today, August 25th. 2007 was the 12th anniversary of one of the most atrocious crimes West Place has ever known. The unsolved murder of the Manson family 12 years later and the, pro the, the perpetrator of the chilling act has still not been found. But now let leave the darkness behind and dive into the music with the song that will remind us that despite it all, home will always be a special place. Here's Home Ain't Nothing Like It by Dan W. Quinn. Am I about to get copyrighted? You can't interact with some objects, press left click. Flashlight. You picked up a flashlight. Can I turn off the radio? Okay. I can't interact with the door. Hello? There you go. The smallest hitbox on the planet not been able to to turn off the car. Oh no, it's one of these. Shift to run. Okay. What? Oh, this is annoying. I don't know. I'll, oh my god! I'm about to throw a fit. Oh my god. Anytime it's a new camera angle, it's the opposite way. Where am I supposed to go? This is annoying. I'm already getting pissed off. Alright, here we go. I'm just running into the forest. Turn around, please. Turn around. This is a very hard to maneuver. Okay, fucking scary ass scarecrow. A strange and eerie scarecrow. Where's the house at? I'm just jogging in the rain at this point. I walk so slowly. Okay, can't. All right, there I am. Now, but really, where am I going? At 
least I'm going somewhere, right? I'm moving. So hopefully... Hopefully I find the house soon and I'm just not wandering around. Because if, if half this game is wandering around... Oh my god, I made it back to the car. Okay, nah, nah, nah. Here's the house. Where am I? Nah, seriously, where am I? Hello? There I am. Jesus Christ. Couldn't even see me. Augustine, are you here? It's me, Daniel. That's a lot of flies. There looks like there's something there. The house is messed up, and I don't see Augustine. Then break in. The windows are boarded up with wooden planks, and there doesn't seem to be any light inside. Door is locked. I think I can force it open with the crowbar. Oh! I thought I just saw something there. Move across. Maybe I'm just insane. Object. Find a crowbar. Do I have to go back to the car? Oh man! I have to go back to the car. That's obnoxious. That is really obnoxious. <laughs> hey, at least I'm getting good exercise, you know. At least I'm running around trying to visit my friend. I'm trying to I'm trying to be a good friend here. You know. Alright, I cannot see myself. There I am. It's very hard to see him when he's the exact same color as the foliage. Oh, there's a bird. Okay, come on. I'm at him now. I didn't realize I was out of stamina. Okay. But I keep getting lost. Made it back to the car. Let me open the trunk and see if there's a crowbar in here. Trunk. Why is there a newspaper in my trunk? August 25th, 1995 will be etched into the memory of the West Pace residents as the day the Manson family was brutally murdered in their own home, neighbors altered a, a neighbors all what alerted dude my ADHD and dyslexia dude I swear because like how I read it because altered it right altered is just one letter flip so it's a l t e r e uh whatever how you spell altered but definitely thought. That said, altered for a second, cause I'm motherfucking insane. Neighbors alerted authorities after hearing screams coming from the Manson home in the early hours of the morning. The scene that greeted authorities was horrifying. Edgar Mason mutilated and eviscerated his facial skin, torn off and placed on a mannequin. Amanda Mason his pregnant wife was repeatedly stabbed and her baby torn from her womb was found dead with its jaw broken however no traces of this part was unreadable ok 
Okay, now I have a crowbar. Should I take the car jack too? I have what I need from here, and now I need to return to Augustine's house. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do this myself. Alright, I'll be right back. Uh, why'd I stop? What's that noise? It seems to be coming from that bush. Oh shit, what the fuck? That's a big ass rabbit. Fucking rabbit nearly gave me a heart attack. Hmm, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna keep going. Alright. Fuck rabbits. Silly rabbits, tricks are for kids. Alright, here we are. Man. Hello? Dump an inventory? Mm -hmm. That's funny. I can access the house now by breaking a fucking entering. Augustine, are you here? Augustine! It seems like no one has been here for a long time. What gave you that, pal? I don't remember coming here before. Why does this place feel so familiar? Shit, this place is so messed up. There there's, doesn't seem to be a soul around. The whole house is filled with a putrid smell. I can barely hold back the urge to vomit. Wooden planks are blocking doors and windows and rooms. I'm worried about Augustine. This doesn't look good. I need to find him or at least find something that indicates their whereabouts. Best to get the house. Fuck you! Someone said hey. I guess we can go upstairs. Oh no, we can't walk off the garbage. Well, why am I just exploring this house? What was that? Wait, let me go back. Okay, I think it's just the curtain. A note. Amanda Mason's Diary, April 23rd, 1995. We had to take Daniel to the hospital. One of those fucking brats hit him on the head and caused a wound. Fuck, I told Edgar that we should change his school. Those fuckers hurt my son. This is not going to stay like this. Respect. Respect. I like the way she parents. It is fucking dark. What's this? Okay, I can't seem to access this. Interact? Hmm, maybe there's some useful things around here. Oh my god, gross. Okay. Slowly. Slowly. A note. I hit the hitbox. Okay, this should not be that annoying. Amanda Mason's Diary, August 10th, 1995. Daniel hasn't been the same since he came back from the hospital. I want my son back. I was cleaning the yard and I found a pigeon. Its head was crushed and its wings were torn off. Daniel is seeing a psychologist, but it doesn't seem to have be having any effect at all. I'm scared of my own son. Anything else? Nope. Can I back up? Anything else? Oh, music box. Eh? What's this doing here? God, I loved this music box when I was a child. Is this Daniel? Oh my god, this, this is... Wow. This isn't Augustine? 
Wait, obviously this is Daniel. Hold on. There's a heartbeat. Can I go upstairs now? There's a door here. Can I go into here? Interact. Um, Amanda Mason's diary, November 12, 1994. My son Daniel has been has been depressed since Max went missing. Edgar and I miss him too, but I'm really worried about Daniel. I know he's a special kid. It's just that others don't understand the struggle to connect with people. Although, thanks to that imaginary friend of his, Augustine, he's been in much better spirits. I hope it lasts for a long time. I love him more than anything in this world. Ooh. What? Mom didn't care about me at all? She was an, she was an abuser. She and Dad enjoyed hitting me every day. What did that say? You know that wasn't true? I hate these mechanics. Like, just make- let me- Okay, and I can't enter this room. There's a furniture block here. Wait, what's this way? I don't think I've been this way. I'm in here, like, breathing. And I can't... Can I continue this way? This just seems like a dead end with the hall, the door. And I can't go upstairs. And I've been in this room. Have I searched this room all the way? Yeah. Come on now. Can I mess up the chair? The table? Wait, I can. It's a wrap. Maybe there's something useful for me here. Oh my god, this should not be that way. Amanda Mason's Diary, December 9th, 1994. I'm expecting another child, or daughter. I'm so happy. Edgar and I have been thinking about it for a long time. But we believe that Daniel needs a little brother so he won't be so lonely. I've been looking at his drawings and they seem so adorable. I'm really glad he thinks we are a perfect family. Although the appearance of Augustine has left me quite terrified. Am I gonna see him here? Okay. Oh, it's Mr. Milo! I love this character! Fuck you. Okay. Why is my plush in this place? Because this was your house. You little weirdo. I think there's nothing left for me to check. Okay. Fuck you. Shit, that fucking TV scared the crap out of me. Maybe it's broken. I should go check it out. Turn off the television. There's a note here. Stop. Oh shit. Fuck. Why do you keep lying? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't mean to lie to the eyes of the TV. I know what I did. What do you mean? What are you talking about? You possessed me to do it. You no, know perfectly well. Fuck you. Do you remember? That's weird. I know you remember. Where the hell am I? This place feels so familiar. Am I in my childhood home? Apparently, I read this a long time ago, that like the 
the reason why people um can I can't remember all the information, but there's something wrong with the way that they perceive the the like murderers see actually see the world differently than say you and I would. There's something there's just something a little bit different that makes them just lash out. And it's so weird. Guest room. Okay. Alright, Daniel. You're alright, pal. You're alright, pal. Parents room. This is a nice home. Turn around. Can I interact? Can I interact with anything? Can't interact with anything. Am I supposed to find my bedroom? Which I'm guessing is this one? Oh no, that's that's probably my room. Alright, nice bathroom. I have two toilets. Sick. Nah, <laughs> one's probably a boudet. I know what boudets are. Okay, downstairs we go. Or do I go this way? Nope, downstairs. I never understood these reading nooks. I don't know why people put them in their houses. I'll just leave it empty. People never sit in those chairs. Oh my god, let me go downstairs. Oh my god, let me go. Okay, what am I supposed to fucking do? I can't go into this room. It literally won't let me. Oh my god, this is annoying. Okay. What am I supposed to do in the parents' bedroom? Am I supposed to do anything in here? I can't interact with the drawers. I can't interact with that. Okay, let me go to the bathroom again. Let me go to the bathroom again. I don't think I fully explored this area. Okay. I'm confused. Oh, am I supposed to interact with the phone? Can I interact with the phone? Can I interact with my penis? Oh, oh child room, what the fuck? That was hard to find. I just stumbled upon it. My childhood bedroom. My toys and plushies are everywhere. Does this prove that my parents love me or not? My memories are confusing. That were they to me. What were they to me? Did I love them? Did I hate them? Were they the perfect family? We were hitting me until they got bored, until I bled. Did they protect me from the constant bullying I received at school? Did they sing to me so I could sleep peacefully? What were they doing to me? I don't remember. Although I'm sure I made more drawings of them. Did Daniel kill the dog? Find the missing drawings. Are there any in here? I don't like the singing.
I really don't like this thingy. Fuck you. My parents, the bedroom of my parents. I don't remember much about them. I think they were kind to me. Until simply they stopped being so. Lies. I bet that's coming from the attic. Nothing in the bathroom. Is there anything in the guest room? Let's see if there's anything in the guest room. Uh, which is this one? This is... This is the guest room. No? Okay. Oh, yep. The guest room. We never really had guests. I remember using this room to play hide and seek with Augustine. Yeah, that's... That's not good. Okay, do I go to the attic now? Is that not all the missing pages? Is that not all of them? Cause I went to the bathroom. Still can't go up there. Bathroom again. And in here. Maybe I can wipe my ass with the bidet. Am I supposed to collect the drawings? Oh yeah, okay. Ly lies of names? List of names? A list of names my mom was expecting as a child. Augustine. The name they chose was Augustine. Augustine. This game should have been called Augustine. I found one of the missing drawings. Okay. So I am supposed to collect, like actually collect them. Okay, that's a little confusing. All right, let's go to the guest room. Actually, can I do the one in here first? Where was it? Was it on my desk? Can I even get around here? Okay, I guess there was nothing on here for me to collect. How did I even get out of like the insane asylum where I was being held? How did I escape? Did I pull like a serious black and like turn into an animagus? And escaped. I found one of the missing drawings. Don't fucking jump scare me under the bed. Don't fucking jump scare me under the bed. Fuck you. Return to your room. Return. Okay, I'm here. What do I want to? What do I want to interact with? A 
tell me to return here. Is this not my room? There we go. Man, when I was a child, I was quite lonely. I couldn't relate to others, and because of that, I was consistently bullied. My parents, aware of the situation, adopted a dog named Max. Both of us had lots of fun doing crazy things until he got lost. He could never find him. We never knew what happened to him. That saddened me deeply, and it affected my parents as well. So, I invented my imaginary friend named Augustine. That led to aggression from other kids towards me. One of those beatings landed me in the hospital. After that, I was never the same. Augustine would tell me horrible things, and out of fear of being alone again, I would listen to him, as if insist voices nod at me, commanding me to do unforgivable things. That terrified mom and dad, and that's when. And that's... that's when. You killed your family. You wished it had to happen. You hated them. I'm your conscience, after all. Someone's calling. Ring-a-ding-ding! I'm coming for your ping. Hello? Who is it? <laughs> fuck, this isn't funny. What the fuck? <laughs> he actually said that. That was me saying that. I wasn't reading the text. Oh my god. They're watching you? Meet with you. What's this? Your perfect family. The fuck? Holy shit. Uh, 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 he's waiting for me. I must go. Uh, who's waiting for you? Everything will be better without me. It's over. He's waiting for me. Well, everybody, that was Daniel's nightmare. So, without any further ado, thank you all so much for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't be afraid to leave a like. And as always, I will see you here next time.